J. You're welcome back to my YouTube channel. <sighs> I actually don't feel too good. <laughs> and in fact, this was not the video that I plan to or I should do to actually drop this week. However, I got a over the past couple of days, I got a lot of inquiries about getting job in the United Kingdom. A lot of nurses are finding it quite challenging getting a job in the UK. And I felt that this takes more priority at the moment. So that's why I had to shift the other videos and actually share this one with you instead. So what I'm going to give you in this video is I'll give you free five easy tips that will help you to secure a job in the United Kingdom. These are tips that I share with my nurses during a paid one-on-one -on -one session. And I'm actually here giving you for free. These tips are tested. They have already been tried. They work. They have worked for all my nurses. Another thing I'll share with you is I'll share with you a list of websites where you can actually get these jobs from. Loads of websites. We we'll also highlight some of the mistakes that I've seen lots of nurses make. And these mistakes has cost them time and it's just, you know, get them frustrated for nothing. These are the things that we will discuss in this video. Just before I proceed, I noticed some activities in my comment section. <laughs> some people drop WhatsApp numbers and pretend to be my airplane. You might notice that I don't get to see this comment until later when I'm going through my comments trying to see if people have asked me a very important topic that I need to create a content on. And that's when I start seeing these numbers claiming to be my airplane. As a matter of fact, a, a nurse reached out to me or a carer, I don't know, said, there's a particular Mr. Shegu on Facebook or in my comment section claiming to be my PA or claiming to work with me. Please, guys, I don't work with anybody. Okay? The only way to reach me is my email and also paying for a coaching session with me. In this coaching session, I'll give you a breakdown of whatever, whichever country you want to go to and what you need. Also get you started with some materials that will help you with this process just to get you started. If you got more questions, we get to discuss this uninterrupted paid session. One hour at the moment. That's what I can give for each per session. Okay, just so that you can get value for your money. The link to that is also on this description, which you can check out. Please be very careful out there. I don't have a helpline, I don't have a PA. I don't have a WhatsApp number that you can reach out to at the moment. I'm working on having a WhatsApp number, but if I have that WhatsApp number, it's going to be very open to everybody. Okay, so please be very, very careful. Don't pay anybody any money. I don't do endless tutorial. I don't know anybody. I'm not affiliated with anybody. I'm a one woman who pull. I'm on my own. I don't give people jobs. I don't hand jobs over to you. All I do is guide you, support you, give you the necessary information to do things yourself. Please be very, very careful out there. Let's go right into the main purpose of this video. Okay, so the first thing I'll share with you is the easy tips that will help you get the jobs. We highlight the mistakes that people make. I'll give you the website to get these jobs from and, you know, any other thing that comes up in this video so first of all let me give you a list of websites and also some of these websites i will drop the link directly to this website in the description so it's pretty much easy for you to go through the websites the first website is jobs.scot.nhs.uk the second website is track.jobs the third is indeed.com the fourth is betterjobs.nhs.uk. Yeah. The fifth one that I want to slot in here quickly is LinkedIn. You can get jobs on LinkedIn. You'll be surprised. I've got lots of nurses that their job offers are from LinkedIn. 
as far as you use it the right way there are scammers on linkedin that you have to be aware of <laughs> you need to be aware of them but there are also good people real people on linkedin that you can send email to and actually get job offers anyway so quickly on the job search websites there's a feature that says filter and with this feature you can filter your location you can filter what kind of job or what kind of unit you want to work quick so if you're a physiotherapist if you're a nurse if you're a doctor if you're a carer whatever what job which unit which specialty do you want to work this feature works for that now why am i talking about this feature is that one mistake that i have identified that lots of people make is that they filter their location and one of the reasons they give me for doing that is uh, my friend is in manchester and i want to be close to my friend my family friends are in central london and i have a child so i want them to support with raising the child who told you that we have time to raise your child who told you who told you that your friend that is living in manchester who told you you will even see in two years i'm being honest with you this is my fourth going to fifth year in the united kingdom and i have got some friends that were friends back home and up until now we have not seen not that we do not want to see but our shadows are different i might be especially most of them are nurses of course when i'm off they are working and when they are working i am off so it's really sometimes it's you cannot it doesn't work that way so and again i would i, I would i would expect that what should be priority to you right now is getting a job and living wherever you are not that you want to be close to your friend wanting to be close to your friend is not a priority right now i mean when you get into the united kingdom after you have secured yourself a job you can leave that location maybe that funny you might be lucky enough that the hospital might have a location in the location you i mean your preferred location yeah they might have a branch in your preferred location another thing is you can leave the hospital and go to another hospital in your preferred location at least come to the uk first so i don't understand why this is an issue honestly but trust me loads of people make this mistake and it's just sad honestly so forget about location filter whatever else you want to filter but do not filter your location talking about filtering your location why are nurses not applying to scotland why scotland is a part of the united kingdom in case you did not know now you know scotland is a part of the united kingdom okay so why are you not applying to scotland let me give you five interesting facts about scotland one is it is the home of the tallest waterfalls. This is to highlight, I mean, further highlight the fact that Scotland is beautiful. The second is accommodation is very affordable. I've got a friend, she's a radiographer, she works in Scotland with NHS and also a private hospital. She has a, uh, she has a one bedroom flat, right? Separate living room, separate bed bedroom, separate bath, separate, you know, kitchen cooking area and she pays 350 pounds for that yeah you heard me right 350 pounds without bills of course whereas in london i live in southwest london i have a studio flat which means that i don't have a separate living room living room and bedroom is of course switched squeezed together i have a separate kitchen mini kitchen and a bath but guys i pay 850 pounds at the moment because my landlord wants to increase it by 50 pounds per month excluding bills so now talk to me why you will not apply to scotland maybe some people did not know your same registration for every other part of the uk works for scotland it's a part of the united kingdom come on the third is cost of living is far better like it's far far better than other areas that are closer to london 
yeah the capital like i said earlier edinburgh is a popular tourist attraction so you are you don't even need to go too far to have a vacation you are in a country that is a vacation location so come on the final one is there are loads of job opportunities i went through the jobs.court.nhs uk which is for nhs jobs and i saw loads of job opportunities for nurses this might work better for nurses that are in the united kingdom already but also even if you're outside the united kingdom you already have your nmc uk registration i am from the last update i received from my nurses you get a provisional license number this license number you can present when they ask you for your nmc uk registration you have it and in your additional information you give you haven't sat OSCE, you need a certificate of sponsorship to get a job with them now these are not the only ones with job opportunities there are lots of other websites yeah they already mentioned that you can get jobs from track.jobs total jobs betterjobs.nhs.uk linkedin you know indeed.com read.co.uk they have lots of job opportunities for you all you need to do is search for your own set set a notification on and you know don't filter your location anywhere you get job you are going there my darling because that is the main priority right now the second is apply for band four and five roles listen to me for you to qualify for a certificate of sponsorship right under the new update by the uk government you need to apply for a job that is paying at least 22 to 24. That was why they increased health carers pay to that amount when they introduced the health care visa you know health care visa options right because for you to qualify for a certificate of sponsorship for the government to issue your employer a certificate of sponsorship then that job needs to be paying up to like 24k which a bad four row we give you okay I am giving you these tips that I have shared that nurses pay money for to actually know most of these tips. I have nurses who have used these tips and secured themselves jobs and are now band fives in the UK. They came in with band four jobs and they are now band five. So most of these employers will say when you get into the UK, right? When you get into the UK, you sit your OSCE, you pass, you finish up your NMC registration, you get your NMC, full NMC registration, and once you do that, you your salary will be upped. I mean, it will be increased to your band five nurse salary. Easy peasy. So, why are you now applying? Start applying for band four and five roles. The third is when you go to these job websites, when you visit these hospitals. Apart from you know, in addition to rather, in addition to you applying directly on the website make sure you also get the email address of the recruitment team and send a direct application i have a video that talks to you about how to apply directly to these hospitals because this is what we have now in the past we have agencies that do all these things for us put us through but because of the old restriction by who and all the old red list issue you need to apply by yourself okay you need to apply by yourself forget about red lists and focus on applying for your jobs send a direct application with your cv now you cannot keep doing things the same way and expect a different result i've reviewed over 120 cvs guys and i tell you that most more than more than 85 percent of these people actually needed to have a review because their cv was just not hit it's not enough to just have a load of information in your CV. You need to get things right. If you need to get your CV review, get it reviewed. The best part of this news is that I review CVs for a token. Okay? And you can get in touch with me if you need a service. If I review your CV, you can also use information from that to help you in working on your support and statements. Okay? When you're making an application online, that CV will help you in filling your application correctly in the right way 
and also it will help you in writing a good supporting statement i have a full video on how to actually write your supporting statement i think the seven questions that your supporting statement needs to answer my tips work my videos are very useful loads of nurses reach out to me every day about how useful those information are and i am grateful to god for that because I have had the opportunity to work with a lot of nurses. This is why I know how these things work. This is why I know these things. Okay? So please, if you need to get your CV reviewed, get it reviewed. The fourth is, make sure you are applying to a role that actually gives you a certificate of sponsorship. Like I said in number two, not all roles gives you a certificate of sponsorship so if you apply to these hospitals and they don't offer a certificate of sponsorship then you will get unfortunately and then you feel like you are the ones not doing something right of which yeah you are not doing something right because they don't they've said this in their application that they do not offer a certificate of sponsorship if an hospital did not categorically state that they don't offer a certificate of sponsorship please assume that they do and go ahead and apply Okay, I mean, not assuming that they do, what will it do for you? Assume that they do, except, except they say, oh, we do not offer a certificate of sponsorship. I hope you're, you, you're flowing with me. The final one, which is the fifth one for today, and I round up this video, is apply every day. When I was looking for a band six rule in the theater, guys, I wake up in the morning, say my morning prayer, read the Bible, do my devotion. What do you think I do next? Eat. Brush my teeth. Bath. No. I apply. I apply for jobs every morning, every day. The best part is once I I use track.jobs, once you enter your details on track.jobs, it automatically saves your CV and everything. All you have to do for other application is you just say, use the same application for previous. You don't have to write the same thing over and over again. So it's not overwhelming. If you do this every day, there's no way you will not end up with two or three offers. So please, don't get tired. Don't wake up and the first thing you are doing is you are opening Instagram. To go and do what? To go and do what? You need to get serious and start making time for things that actually add value to you. Things, prioritize yourself. Get your priorities straight. This is all I wanted to share with you in this video. To watch the video on how to actually apply directly via email, check my videos out on how to do that. Check my videos out on how to prepare for your interview. Check my videos out on how to review your CV, writing your support and statements. If you don't know about, maybe you are here, you don't even know how to start the whole process at all. Check my videos out. I have almost a video that covers almost all the questions, any question you might even have. Because I make these videos based on frequently asked questions. That's why my videos are answering all your questions. So please, make out time to watch these videos and jot things down. I hope that you guys found this video useful. If you did find it useful, please leave a comment in the section. If you still have, you know, questions for me, Feel free to drop them. I may not get to respond to everybody because sometimes I get really busy. I'm working and I don't even get the chance to go through some comments. But trust me, sometimes I just go through everything and, you know, I'll be like, okay, this one is more frequent. Let's make a video on it. So your, your questions might actually be video. I mean, this is why we have this video today from questions okay so feel free to drop your question regardless of if you get your response from me or not and book a session with me if you want to if you want a one-on-one -on -one clarity like i had a discussion with you and she said she just needed to speak with me honestly because most of the things i was telling her she already knew i'm like so why did you pay for this session she's from nigeria she paid fifty-five thousand naira. why did you pay he said, I just needed to have a one-on-one -on -one chat with you, get things right, get clarity. And, you know, I really commended that for that. Please do what you have to do to get yourself out of a situation that you are not pleased with. Okay? Enjoy the rest of your week. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.